So here's another question. Alex, when confronted with someone antagonistic, how do you keep your cool? My favorite answer to this is that, well, I, first of all, when you've seen me do that, unless you know me personally, there's a video camera on me. And so the easiest thing I do is I remember that there's a video camera and I know what it looks like to lose your cool on a video camera. <laughs> and therefore it, I have a very high incentive. High motivation. Yeah. My cool. Now in general, I don't, I, I don't lose it very often. I mean, it, it, it's quite rare that that happens. And I think that's because, well, there's a couple of things. One is just, I just try to recognize what's in my control and not in my control. And if I, if I think I'm right and the other person's not listening to reason, no reason to get bent out of shape, particularly if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I just have to leave. So yeah. I'm very good at exiting from situations. And then let's say if the person points out something of mine and I, I can't really give a perfect answer and that's frustrating, well, okay, that's on me. I just know you, yeah. there's no use getting upset about it. Even if I, the most frustrating is I know the person is wrong, but I can't quite explain why in the moment. This can happen in debates and whatnot. And it's, it's frustrating, but I think the best thing is just to say, look, I think this is really off. I give you a couple of reasons. I need to think about it more later, but, um, but you know, I, I, if I don't fully know or I can't give an explanation, I'll explain that. And then the other thing is just strategically, if you're beginning a conversation, the premise has to be the person is open to reason. And it's one thing I teach in, in workshops on constructive conversation and some of my uh, stuff on my newsletter and my online videos is you have to begin with eagerness and friendliness. Yep. The, the idea that, hey, there's potential value in talking to, to you because you might learn something valuable from me. I might learn something valuable from you. And, and even if they start antagonistically, if you're going to proceed, you have to proceed with eagerness and friendliness. You're, you're, you're free to leave, but as long as you're there, you're on the premise that they're honest. And if you have a contradiction, which is they're honest, that's why I'm having the conversation, but they're dishonest, that's why they're not processing it the way I want, then you're going to make yourself miserable and then you'll lose your cool. Yep. 